Hello guys, welcome to Linux Joy channel. Today we are going to learn about auto mount NFS shared folder. So how to do that? We are going to see. Okay, I am going to open my client machine. Same. Okay. So first we will see what is auto mount. And what are the service we have to use to do auto mounting? So, AutoFS is a service on Linux like operating system which is used to mount the file system and remote shares automatically when it is accessed. The main advantage of this AutoFS service every time you don't need to uh, mount the file system at all time. The file system automatically mount itself when it is in demand. So that is the use of AutoFS service. So let's get started. This, uh, I mean, this configuration should done in client system only, not in the server machine. So I open the terminal. If config. So, okay, server. I need I need my server operating systems IP address. Enter. Enter. Okay. Yep. Control L. Close. Close tabs. So first here, if config. So my server IP address is 192.168.78.132. Just I have to remember that. And close this terminal. Control L, Control Shift to press to increase the font. So first, first we have to unmount the NFS share. To check the NFS share DF hyphen capital T H. So this is my NFS share you can find here. Right. I need to first unmount that file system. How to do that? Which is used by U mount command. U mount slash MNT slash share. Okay, done. Check DF hyphen capital T H so the file system is unmounted and remove that line which we mentioned in slash etc slash fs tab to go to the last line in vm editor what we have to do capital G okay type dd to delete the last line which contains NFS shared folder and mounted mounted directory in client system dd yes i delete it. escape colon x save and next we have to install one package that is m install auto fs shift star iphone y already installed checking for update nothing to do okay no problem that means it's already installed next first we have to enable the service system ctl enable auto fs okay it's enabled and start 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 okay it started now go to this file vam slash etc slash auto dot master enter okay observe here you have to come to this line and create a new line insert So 
sorry escape go new line we have to give one folder name here i am giving slash send os yes. and uh, you have to type this slash etc slash auto dot misc in this file we have to create uh, we have to mention one directory that is whatever it is you can give any name here that is slash send to os and uh, mention the same file which is you can see here slash etc slash auto dot misc and you have to mention the same file here slash etc slash auto dot misc okay done escape colon x save now go to vam slash etc slash auto dot misc enter go to end of the line capital g new line don't mention ash before the line if you mention ash before the line it will just uh, it will just read that it's a comment it doesn't execute that so remember that we have to type the another name here i am giving linux linux and the mention the file system type that is iphon fs type file system type is nfs and version also nfs iphon vers equals to 4 and if you confuse it with nfs version what which version we are using i am going to tell after a saving this line i will show you how to check the version of the nfs and next mounted on which ip address the shared folder available on this ip address 192.168.778.132 colon slash folder is nfs okay that's it we mention everything here in auto dot to misc file yes we mentioned everything we have to give one name here in auto dot master file we gave like cento a7 and uh, in this we have to give one name here and after that we have to mention the file system type that is nfs and version version also we have to mention here that is version is 4 and the shared folder is available on which ip address that is server ip address 192.168.78.132 and the shared folder is slash nfs that's it escape colon x enter saved and restart system ctl restart auto fs that system ctl restart auto fs then that means we restarted the auto fs service now check before going to see if we confuse it with the nfs version you can type this command nfs stat nfs start iphon c here you can find client nfs version is 4 if you want to check that on server if you can type nfs start iphon s let me type will it show or not okay this is not server that's what it uh, it's not showing that nfs version if you want to check that nfs version in server we have to type this command nfs start iphone yes now df hyphen capital th see the mounted directory is not available here but we know the path what is the path cd slash send os slash linux enter see and type ls you will find nfs1 file which is we created yesterday so cat nfs1 enter see you can access the content and you can type here df hyphen capital th c now 
whenever we access it, that CentOS slash Linux directory that is mounted with slash NFS uh, shared directory, shared folder, um, we mounted with auto auto mount with auto FS service. Whenever you go into access the uh, directory, it will show. If you come out that directory, once I can type df iPhone capital T iPhone H. If you reboot or else if you, I mean, when you are, you are going to access the file system only, it will show. Other else, it, it doesn't show. That is the use of AutoFS service, which is used to auto mount the NFS shares. Okay. And uh, today I plan for this session to explain this AutoFS service and how to use it in auto mount with NFS shares. I hope you understand and thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, please click on that like button and share this video as many people as you can who want to learn CentOS 7. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching video once again. Have a nice day.